Let's talk about internal use with essential oils. First, you wanna make sure that it's doTERRA because they are very transparent with how they source and how they process their oils. And they have third-party testing to assure you that there are no additives or fillers uh, or chemicals of any sort. So on the bottle, you will see that it says essential oil supplement um, and that it has a supplemental facts. That means you can ingest it. If it does not, it just says essential oil blend or not for internal use. So that's the delineation. Then um, why would you use it internally? Number one, it's the most potent form um, to receive the highest therapeutic value. So you're ingesting it and the majority of what you're ingesting is getting used. Whereas compared to using topically, it has to um, be diluted and go through the skin, which is a filtering system. So you don't get as much uptake. So three ways that you can use oils internally. You can do a drop under your tongue with the oil and that enters your system super quick. You can use a gel cap or a veggie cap, which is just a clear capsule that comes apart. And then in the larger side, you can fill that up with oil. So I'm gonna show you what I do with what I've got. And I do, I have a repurposed <clears throat> old oil bottle with all the antiviral oils. This is very beneficial for when we feel like we've got sniffles or runny noses, those sorts of things um, going around. And especially right now during this time, the stuff that's happening, we just want to be guarded and keep boosting our immune system. So I have a little dropper, which makes it super simple and I can drop anywhere from one to five uh, drops in a two to six hour period is the recommended dose. Um, other than that, um, if you do any more than that, it's too much um, for your liver to process. And you wanna give time for the liver to metabolize um, and not exceed about 25 drops um, in a day. So once you have this oil in the cap, you wanna take it pretty quickly um, with water, or whatever liquid, and uh, it, otherwise it can start to eat through the little, the capsule. So you can do it under your tongue in a capsule or in any liquid you choose. You can do it in a smoothie, you can do it in water, um, teas, that sort of thing. Um, and receive oils that way. Um, you can add them into food. And that's just a really good way. There's a, a hot tip though. When you are cooking with hot foods and hot oils, for example, oregano, add oregano after you've done the cooking because that, exceed, that um, extends the heat of the oil. So add it, add it after you do all the heating. Um, so keep in mind, one drop is very potent and less is more when you start using essential oils until you understand how you um, react to the oils. I do recommend when you're gonna be taking um, oils internally to eat them with food, otherwise you can be burping up that smell. And if it's an antiviral, like oregano or melissa, black pepper, um, the thyme, those, those oils, they're not really great coming back up. So um, I hope that that is helpful and I hope that I covered everything that I wanted to talk about um, because that's what I wanted to say. Keeping in mind that a single drop of essential oil is obtained from a large amount of uh, plant material. So it's highly concentrated. So with that, happy oiling. And if you want, I can link in where I get the tops and uh, the oils that I use for the antiviral and happy oiling.